Yeah, definitely. Yeah, boat fishing is uh, serious. You know, you, you're out the water, uh, on the water. You go in, and uh, you're in trouble. Especially the amount of gear that we wear. A uh, life jacket is, is essential. You know, you must have a life jacket. Even if you know four foot of water, you can still drown. You know, even on the board here, it's only three and four foot of water. It comes with experience, but always go with someone first to, to show you the ropes, basically. There's so much uh, can go wrong with boat fishing. Not only just on the water, but towing the boat to the water. Wheel bearings and wheels and tyres and stuff like that. Make sure everything's safe for the road as well, as well as safe for the, for the fishing. Uh, yes, yeah, so make sure you don't lose your boat during the day. <laughs> what if you come back to you? And I have done it when well, I've uh, not tied it up properly and the boat is. Uh, Especially on sort of tidal waters when you're running through, where it's, uh, you come back and your boat's not there because you haven't tied it off properly. I'm going to connect the fuel up now. Um, I use an auxiliary tank. Some people have got tanks on their engine, but um, it's too big an engine for that sort of thing. So I'll connect the fuel up, make sure it's tight, and the vacuum is undone. Otherwise, you won't be going very far. Fuel in a safe place, got spare fuel in the wash well where it should be. And uh, I'll start to pull the engine up. Um, because it's been on an auxiliary tank, uh, the carbs have been drained down and uh, just trying to get some fuel into it, but sometimes you get a few air blockages, which I think I've got now. Do checks now and uh, hopefully we'll start the engine. Just want to make sure everything's tidy when you're in a boat. Um, you do catch a pike, you see it can be a little bit panicky, if, especially if it's a big one, and uh, you can soon trip over things if uh, you haven't got a tidy boat. Do a fire extinguisher on board because when you, you know, with engines obviously you've got petrol. Petrol's highly flammable, we all know. So a fire extinguisher is a, is a definite on a boat with petrol and any other electrics that are here. This boat has been fully certificated as far as uh, health and safety goes for the board's authority. So it's passed all the checks. Um, it's got electrical cutoff valve, uh, cutoff switch. Um, just in case there's a problem with your battery or anything like that, and you've got fuel aboard, it calls um, sparks and stuff. But you can you can flick the cut the power to the uh, battery straight away there's a lot of wiring on here you see so with that we'll uh, get off I think Pike fishermen are a hardy breed accepting sleet, snow, ice and of course the rain in pursuit of their beloved pike with the beautiful Broads waterways at their fingertips, an open boat is the ideal way to explore and spend a day fishing for pike. The combination of 120 miles of navigable waterway and 800 hire boats during the summer make the Broads a very busy place. Experienced and inexperienced boaters alike all have to share this magnificent area. Therefore, we must adhere to the speed limits as the wake from a speeding boat could knock someone from their craft, whilst bank erosion is another reason to slow down. Here's a dramatised example of the dangers of speeding. When you pass a moored boat, slow down. Check if they have their floats out and give them as much space as possible. A life jacket should always be worn whilst afloat or at the water's edge. Being bounced about because someone speeds past with no thought or courtesy to other boaters is not much fun. You can see how easily a boat user could end up in the water. Although it may seem exaggerated, sadly, scenes like this do occur. <laughs> 